everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Remember, we are still in our revision classes, and today we are going to be giving you a useful acronym for you to remember the key facts necessary when writing your anatomy and physiology of an organ. Before we go into details, can we click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be teaching you how to write the anatomy and physiology of an organ with ease in an examination condition. Sometimes we have the key point, we have the fact that we want to say in our memory, but putting it down becomes very, very difficult. Why? Because it is not properly arranged in our brain or in our memory. But this class today is going to teach you how to arrange them systematically in your brain or in your memory. So we're going to be using this acronym, which is David looks so small on Sanders, but looks very nice. David, sorry. David looks so small on Sanders, but looks very nice. Facts. You get now? So this acronym is what will be guiding us through when describing the anatomy and physiology of an organ. And we're going to be using the hearts as an instance. We're going to be taking the hearts, for example. So first of all, David is defined. You tell us that the heart is a muscular organ of the cardiovascular system. You've defined the heart, right? Then looks. How does the uh, look stand for location? Where is the heart located? You may agree with me that the heart is located where? At the thoracic cavity. That is also another point. The other one is so, which is the size. What is the size of the heart? The size of the heart is same as that of your fist. So if my fist is like this, it simply means my heart is like this. So you say that when writing the size. The other one takes us to small, which is a shape. We all know that the heart is a cone shape organ. The heart is what? A cone shape organ. Then the other one, on. On simply means organ in relation to what is at the right side of the heart what is at the left side of the heart what is above the heart what is below the heart so that is what organs to relation is simply talking about for example superiorly that's above now superiorly we have the great blood vessels superiorly we have what we have the great blood vessels such as your aorta your pulmonary artery and your pulmonary veins they are the one superior that's the organ related to the heart superiorly then inferiorly that's the bottom of the heart you will agree with me that you have the diaphragm the diaphragm is at the bottom then this side both sides of the heart you have what the lungs the lungs are the both side of the heart then anteriorly which is the front side of the heart you have the sternum you have the ribs you have the intercostal cartilages then posteriorly now at the back side of the heart you have your trachea you have your brochia you have your esophagus they are all at the back side of the heart so on stands for what organ in relation to then standard simply means the structure that is when you talk about the heart in details you tell us that the heart has what three layers it has the pericardium the myocardium and the endocardium it tells us that the pericardium is the outermost layer of the heart, the myocardium is the middle layer of the heart, and the endocardium is what? The innermost layer of the heart. The structure is also where you tell us that the heart has what? Four chambers, the left and the right ventricles, and the left and the right um, um, atrium. Then in that same structure, you tell us that the heart has two inferior, one inferior venal cabal and another superior venal cabal. Then you also tell us about the valve present in the heart. So that's on, that's the word structure like Miss Sanders. Then the other is blood, which is the blood supply. What is supplying the heart's blood? What is supplying the heart's nutrients? It is actually the coronary artery. Then the other looks, which is the lymph drainage, is talking about lymphatic systems that drains um, the heart. 
then we have very which is the venous drainage the venous drainage is simply the cardiac veins the cardiac veins takes the originated blood away from the heart then we have nice which is nerve supply nerve supply most times it's very very similar when they just ask me nerve supply what comes to my mind is sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve supply so you can actually drop that when you talk about the heart the nerve supply to the heart then the last one is the fact which is function what is the function of the heart we all know that the function of the heart is to pump blood into circulation to ensure that the body gets full blood to ensure that the body gets oxygen so that is one of the most important function of the heart you can see i've successfully described the heart using what this description remember take note of this description take a pen and write it down david looks so small on sanders but looks very nice fact guess who actually shared this acronym with me it was one of my students that shared it and it has been helpful and i decided to share it with everyone today then also when you're writing in your exams don't write as if you are writing summary no one says something as if you're writing an essay or you're writing a letter to a friend no make sure you outline your points outline the points one after the other even when writing your nursing management outline your points pathophysiology outline the key points you are giving out you don't just write history you don't just write summary you don't just write essay things like this one point two points three points just outline them accordingly not writing something you can write them in the various headings and also sometimes some of the organs that you have been asked to describe or some of the things that you have been asked to describe this of it this one here might not be involved might not be inclusive so it doesn't mean that you have to get all the information but at least make sure you are able to write something that will give you your marks completely hope you got value for this video today if you know you got value kindly share like drop a comment on a drop a comment on the comment section then if there's any question also drop on the comment section thank you very much and you have a wonderful day ahead see you now in this class